G'day guys, it's Billy here. Well, I've got Georgie with me. She's not too well at the moment, so I'm taking. I'm here at the vet in Pagan, West Australia. I thought I had a obsessive compulsive disorder, guys. This is pretty bad. Look at all the bikes. Thousands of bikes. Tire rims, relics, lawn mowers. I'll take some photos guys, I'll go and ask for permission and there's so much scrap metal over there, electrical wire, cars, G'day guys, well I just introduced myself to the owner of all this stuff and he's a big collector of motorbikes. It's pretty, got a pretty awesome collection. I asked if he wanted to sell any of his scrap, copper wire, but he, it's not interested in selling it, so I'll probably just sit here until he dies. <laughs> Typical. This is a pretty old bloke, probably about 65, 70. These are the bikes, they don't look too old, can't see any old BMX bikes. But you never know, there's bound to be some nice old BMX bikes here. And this thing here, I think, is used for um, baby chickens. It's a feeder, a kerosene that keeps the chicken. Oh, yeah. No, this actually is used for keeping the baby hatchlings warm. It's really the best thing I've seen so far. So it's kerosene powered, and it warms up. And the baby chicken, our chickens, sit under there, underneath the the hood thing. So honestly guys, this makes me feel really, really anxious. I'd hate to have a place like this. This is overboard, obsessive compulsive disorder or obsessive hoarding. And the blokes are going to kick the bucket within 10, 20 years. And you won't sell anything. Oh, you'll sell stuff, but you know. He might sell any of his scrap, it's just sit here. So you guys, it's shitloads of electrical wire. So how do you expect to get rid of all this stuff? Impossible. And there's a couple of posty motorbikes.